look, it's got a sort of chumbly movement. Chumbly? <laughs> yes, you know, a sort of chumbly. <laughs> it's gone now. You know, Thomas. Oh, it doesn't take much. It's sort of chumbly. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello and welcome to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul. And my name is Thomas. Good to see you. Uh, and you, Thomas, and good to see everyone at home. Um, we are, for those of you joining us maybe for the first time, we are working our way through all of Doctor Who from 1963 onwards, plus related media. And we uh, recently finished Series 2. We've had a couple of little other things on the side since then. We've had The Power of the Doctor, uh, Whitaker's final episode, um, final episode of the Chibnall era. We've had... Um, uh, the Beatles uh, in the chase from series two. And we've also had who's who uh, by Roberta Tovey um, and the, da and the Dalek movie as well. Gosh, we've had lots actually, haven't we? Um, yeah. Lots of things, um, but we're about to crack on with series three of Dr. Who. Um, and this is going to be uh, an interesting series for us. I think Thomas, because uh, a lot of it is missing. Um, and mm. so it's going to be a lot of recons uh, but fortunately, you know, I think there's been some animations done. We're going to watch some animations in a moment. Um, I think we'll get through it. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll, it, it might test us, but it's going to be okay. Yeah. So we're about to dig into, uh, Galaxy 4. Um, as always, give us a like and a subscribe. That's great. It's good to have uh, more of you on board with us, uh, particularly as we get into a new season. Um, uh, and obviously leave comments and let us know what you think of these stories and these episodes. Um, yeah, so Galaxy 4, Thomas, we've got a four-parter here, broadcast from the 11th of September to the 2nd of October 1965. Uh, it was written by William Ems and directed by Derek Martinus. Um, now, this is Derek Martinus's only Doctor Who story that he directed that doesn't feature any of the Doctor's iconic enemies. Uh, all of his remaining stories featured either Daleks or Cybermen, Ice Warriors or Autons. Apparently, he'd never seen the show before he directed... Uh, for it um, and was then shown some old episodes which he was very disappointed with and said he wanted to aim for higher standards. Originally Mervyn Pinfield was hired to direct um, who we've definitely seen uh, direct a few of the ones we've seen can't remember which ones off the top of my head but um, he was taken ill um, during it and so Martin has replaced him um, and so therefore this was actually I think Pinfield's last contribution to the series uh, in in total Um so all four episodes of this story were thought to be lost with only very limited material held in the BBC archive. But actually one uh, episode three, I think it is, Airlock was recovered in July 2011. Um, and its return was announced then later in 2011 as well. And they've it's now been animated. So this is actually the 12th uh, serial to be animated uh, for DVD, um, excluding Sharda, which is a bit of a different story. But we'll get there. Um, but it's actually only the third Hartnell story to be animated, the other two being The Reign of Terror, which we've seen, and The Tenth Planet. And also the animation of this serial makes Derek Martin as the first Doctor Who director to have, have all of his lost episodes reanimated. Um, yeah, excluding directors who only have one serial that's missing episodes. So uh, it's quite, uh, yeah, it's quite, a, quite an episode here. We're going to watch the animations for episodes one, two and four because they don't exist. Um, and then we're going to watch the actual episode three, because we should believe we should. However, I got myself in a bit of a quandary earlier today, Thomas, because I realised mm. that episode one, in the loose cannon reconstruction, there is actually six minutes of footage from episode one that exists. Um, so I was a bit like, oh, do we watch the loose cannon one and get six minutes of actual footage? Or did we watch the animation and not see the actual footage? And I figured, well, basically, we should probably just stick with the animations and maybe we can go and revisit the footage at another point um, just for the sake of continuity. You know, sure. have three episodes of anime. Otherwise, it'd be like one loose cannon reconstruction, an animation, a real story, another animation. It might be a bit all over the place. So um, I think yeah, that's a good we'll call. Yeah. Well, I like this orange intro. So we've got an... Yeah, this is one of the animations that they did in colour, as well as, uh, presumably, there's a black and white version on the disc as well. I always forget the console was green. Yeah, of course, because it looked, made it look white on the screen, but... Uh... Yeah. Oh, a bit of Spanish. That's okay. <laughs> so the the animation, I think this is this this one was only done in the last year or two, I think. Or not year, definitely in the last couple of years. Right. So this is much further on than the one we watched, the, the Reign of Terror. The animation yeah. style looks quite much more fluid doesn't it 
No well, more Jabba the Hartnell. The yeah. So obviously conducive to life. It looks a bit like a blancmange. No. <laughs> a chocolate fountain. <laughs> a white chocolate fountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look, it's got a sort of chumbly movement. Chumbly? <laughs> yes, you know, a sort of chumbly. <laughs> it's gone now. Yeah. Bango's you know Thomas. Oh, it doesn't take I think it's sort of chumbly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should change our channel name to the two like chumblies. <laughs> Doctor Who and Chumblies. <laughs> hey. uh, well, the good news is because these are Disney adverts, we might start to get adverts for Doctor Who. You did it. You're here. I see something in them. Yeah, have you seen the, the, the budget announcements for New Who? They're going to get more money now, aren't they? Yeah, three times as much, apparently. Yeah, can't argue with that, can you? Can't argue with that. We're going to have to sit through another ad now, aren't we? Hmm, the ring of death. Oh, is he putting coffee in a plastic bottle? <laughs> <laughs> it really looks lovely, though, doesn't it, this animation? Yeah, and what's cool there is you can see into the TARDIS. I imagine in the actual footage you just see black. Ooh. What's it? Who are they? No idea, but aren't they a lovely surprise? We are the Dravin. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, too. Uh, what makes like the Dravin? All right, Stephen. We are from the planet Drava. Their costume is a bit like Frozone Why? from The Incredibles. <laughs> yeah. Our leader. So a that and kind of scrubs in the hospital. <laughs> well, this has been quite intriguing, hasn't it? Yeah, so far. The Chumblies. It's just quite hard to be scared of them if they're called Chumblies. The Chumblies, yeah. <laughs> Makes me think of Mr. Chumbly Warner from Harry Enfield and Chums. <laughs> Look hey, out. Oh. How are you, Mr. Chumbly Warner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Look out, look out, the chumblies are about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go around the mole group. Of... <laughs> the animation style is, is quite different for the characters to the surroundings, isn't it? I quite like that. Yeah, the characters look more sort of like a cartoon coloured in. Yeah. Whereas everything else looks much more CGI kind of rendered, doesn't it? Yeah. And a bit grittier. They lost the mesh. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Won't you sit down? It's another yeah, fine yeah, mess you've got yeah. us into. <laughs> oh, we have a small number of men, as many as we need. The rest we kill. They consume valuable food and fulfil no particular function. <laughs> and these are not what you want. What does it mean? So long. Hey, Sam Miguel. <laughs> I can't see it. It's disappeared. Has it? Oh, no. It's like a chumbly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a... <laughs> It's a modern day chumbly. It's imperative we leave at once. Why is that? The Dravins did say 14 dawns. Two dawns. Tomorrow is the last day this planet will ever see. Okay, there we go. That's a cliffhanger. That escalated quickly. Yeah. Wow, okay. I like how it's just Dravin 1, 2, and 3. The the Dravin are a bit like uh, the replicants in uh, Blade Runner, aren't Blade they? Blade Runner. Sort of artificial humans mm. or human-like beings yeah well that was um that was good wasn't it yeah yeah i think uh yeah such a strong start i mean galaxy 4 isn't a story that i i think i've only seen it once last time i saw it was with telesnaps right and obviously the one episode that exists don't remember a lot about it i i don't i yeah i mean i remember it, i think quite enjoying it but i think i'm enjoying it more in the animation form um, yeah but I really like the, um, I mean, the animation is beautiful. Obviously, that's not representative of what was on screen um, necessarily. Um, but it looks gorgeous to watch. It's nice to be watching more Doctor Who in colour kind of things as well, particularly from the Hartnell era. Um, yeah, and I like the, I think for me, like, the well, the I like the the dra the Dravins. Um, this idea that their, their culture just seems really interesting. You know, there's a few men. You know, we have enough those we need, and then we kill the others. And yeah, all the like you say, those uh, the rest of the kind of Dravin are all um, you know, kind of grown for purpose, apart from a few living ones. Um, 
So there's some really interesting ideas in there, which I think are interesting. And the whole setup of the planet only having, you know, perhaps 14 dawns. And now we see actually there's only one more day until the planet explodes. Um, yeah. Is great. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think I like that setup of being stuck on the planet and the whole planet's going to die. I think that's probably my my takeaway is my favorite thing from the episode. But yeah, no, I, I thought it was intriguing. It just kind of left you wanting to more, didn't it? So, mm, yeah. yeah. Well, we should probably watch the next one then. So, <laughs> uh, let more. us know what you thought of that story um, and join us soon for episode two. Uh, until then, uh, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.